Hello, Dave here with RadiationHealthRisks.com. I appreciate you stopping by. As always, if this video helps you at all, if you get any benefit at all out of it, please don't forget to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, also hit the little bell so that uh, you'll be notified when we do future videos. That We always appreciate it when people do that because that really helps us get the word out. So that's my little plug. So what I wanted to talk about in this video is scientific studies, the scientific studies page that, that I've put together on the radiationhealthrisks.com website. And I have a particular reason why I wanted to put out a video and talk about this. Um, and if, if you'll watch to the end of the video, please, I, at the end, I'm going to ask for um, everybody's help on something. Um, <clears throat> so the reason that I wanted to talk about the, um, this scientific studies page is because in, in my opinion, and it isn't the page of my website that's so important. It's the information that I link to on, from that page. Um, I feel like it's one of the most important, uh, website pages to get the most amount of people to see as possible. Um, because um, as you uh, look on that page, uh, matter of fact, let's take a minute and I, um, let's go to my laptop. I'll switch to my laptop screen and I'll show you the page and show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. Okay, here we are on radiationhealthrisks.com. You can see that I'm just kind of here on the home page. Um, so up here at the top in the main menu, you'll see a tab here that's featured. And if you highlight over feature, the first option is scientific studies. That's the page I'm talking about. So if you click on the scientific studies page, um, we'll just kind of go through it here. So I, I talk, kind of do a little introduction there and then, then I get into here. This is links. Um, this is probably the most important part of the, of the page. Um, here is the links to different uh, 5G studies, as well as letters from literally hundreds of scientists and doctors from all over the country calling on different governments, entities to, uh, to halt the rollout of 5G. Um, and so th those are really interesting to read too. So I highly recommend everybody go through and read each of these studies and, he, and the letters from the different doctors talking about and the different scientists talking about 5G um, in this section here. So anyway, and then down here in this section, you've got um, this video. This is an interview by a British physicist named Barry Trower. This is a powerful interview. It's, it's a little bit long. I think this whole video is like an hour long. It's worth watching though. Um, but he goes through he, he's an expert on microwave radiation, which 5G takes up most of the microwave spectrum. Uh, microwave radi uh, radiation is considered from about 1 gigahertz all the way up to 300 gigahertz. 5G goes from about 25 gigahertz up to 300 gigahertz. So most of the, of the microwave radiation... Um, um, is 5G. The rest of it's 2, 2G, 3G, and 4G. <laughs> so all, everything that he says is very, very pertinent to this topic. Um, and, uh, you know, he spent his whole life studying microwave radiation. He started out in the military, um, then as a professor. And he, uh, he, anyway, it's just, he's just very interesting to, to listen to. Then down here, I've got a little thing where you can go to a Wikipedia page. I've got a link here where you can go to a Wikipedia page where it talks about the U.S. military's uh, military can crowd control weapon. It's 95 gigahertz, so it's within the, the 5G range. And it's a, it's a weapon that they can shoot at crowds that heats up their skin and makes them their skin burn and so that it disperses it's painful and it disperses the the uh, the crowds 
So that's, that's interesting. And then um, here, this is where this general RF radiation studies and information, this is basically the frequencies, you know, from about 1G and less, actually, even in some of the analog frequencies, they've done studies and it's harmful, um, all the way up to 2, 3, 2, and 3, and 4G uh, ranges. So, like, I, you know, 800 megahertz, maybe 500 megahertz, all the way up to, to you know, probably 5 gigahertz. At least studies are. But anyway, most of them are in the lower of that range. But, um, and still they link them to things like uh, cancer, DNA damage, all kinds of uh, harmful things. So, uh, here's a... Uh, an article here on, uh, I, I can't remember if that's a study or an article. Most of these are studies you'll have to go through. But anyway, here's one on uh, cell phone brain t tumor risk. I believe that's a study. Um, and here's one on bre uh, breast cancer and cell phones. And since I put one in here on that, I, I included this video of this little gal here who um, she uh, got breast cancer and she'd always carried her her cell phone in her bra. And when she got breast cancer, it was right exactly in the spot where her cell phone was always sitting. And so anyway, it's just her story. She believes that that was caused by her cell phone. And so do a couple doctors that are in here. I just thought it was an interesting video. So I went ahead and included it. And down here, here's some more different studies on just regular uh, RG, uh, I'm not RG, um, RF radiation and other kinds of EMF radiation too, but most of it's on RF radiation. Um, and then um, here's an article about the EPA concerns and push for a better safety standard for RF radiation prior to have the, the prior to 2014. In 2014, they had this program defunded. So, but that was, that's an interesting article that the EPA put out worth reading. And then down here, uh, this is a powerful video too by that same British physicist. This is one where he gets into, and he's talking just normal uh, 2G, 3G, 4G type stuff. And he's talking about how it uh, unwinds your, your DNA, especially in infants and fetuses, causes DNA damage. Uh, crib death. Um, anyway, it's it's a very very uh, good video. So that's what this page is. Okay, so you've been to that page. You've seen what's on there. Um, there's links to all kinds of studies. Pro like I said it, uh, a minute ago, probably the most important stuff on there is those Barry Trower videos and uh, the 5G studies. Um, one thing that I, the reason I put this, this uh, page together, this uh, scientific studies page is when I first started this website and um, I started doing some YouTube videos, um, I started getting, you know, most of the comments are positive, but I, I, you know, you always get, and I imagine most YouTube people get, uh, some negative comments. Anyway, I, I would get these occasional people that would just be like, oh, that's non-ionizing radiation. That doesn't, you're just a fear monger, blah, 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 blah. And so I started, <laughs> I'd read all these studies and these different letters and so forth. And so I started putting together this page. Then whenever I got a comment like that on YouTube, I just very politely, well, thank you for your comment. You know, here you go, go, go read this and then, then see if you have a different opinion or whatever. It was interesting. As soon as I, as soon as I did that, very, very few of those people, you know, they were very argumentative before I put the page together. Once, once I got that page together, um, and they post a comment, I just send them to that page. Very few of them respond back. And if they do, the few that do, you can tell have never, never went to the page or never looked at it. <laughs> so it's a, it's, it's a, it's a very, very, uh, powerful, the, the, Again, not the page itself so much as the information that it links to is it's it's uh, literally hundreds and hundreds of doctors 
uh, from all over the world that have done studies and, and on 5G and on RF radiation. And um, anyway, it's just, I went over it, you guys, you guys know. Well, there's always new studies coming out and it's really, really hard uh, to keep up with all of them. Um, so what I'd like to ask all of you guys to do, and here's the particular reason why I wanna ask this first. I'll tell the reason first, then I'll tell you what I want you to, I'm asking you to do. Um, basically, around the internet, I've seen some different YouTube people and um, some different articles and so forth talking about a connection between uh, 5G radiation, sp specifically the 60 gigahertz frequency, which is what uh, a Wi-Fi router, uh, the, the 5G Wi-Fi routers are 60 gigahertz, and uh, our, the body's ability to absorb oxygen. Somehow, the, the, and there's some claims made um, uh, with regards to that. Uh, and what I wanted to ask for help on um, is two things. One, I'd like to ask everybody to please, that scientific studies page of the website, please uh, post that on your social media, send that to your friends and family. Just get, get that, um, some circulation on that. If you have an article that you like better uh, from the website, send that out too. But, but really what we need to get in the hands is that scientific studies uh, page. Share that, send that out as much as you can. So that's number one. Number two, I'd like to add, continually add to that page with new studies. And so I'd like uh, to ask those of you that are inclined to or willing to do so, um, just as you're searching 5G, if you, you know, to, to look for specifically 5G studies that have to do with that 60 gigahertz frequency and how it affects uh, 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 human beings' ability to absorb oxygen. And in the comments on this video or on any of, of my YouTube videos, uh, just uh, post links to those studies that you find um, and what I'll do, I'll go through and I'll read those when you post them. And if, if, they're, if they're a good one, easy for people to understand and whatnot, um, I'll add them to that scientific studies page. So again, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I don't wanna make this video too long. And I really appreciate you guys uh, 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 Watch my other videos and, and reading the website and so forth. Uh, and I appreciate in advance uh, the help that you give me with this uh, request or these two requests. And again, thank you so much. And we'll call that a wrap and talk to you in the next video. Thanks.